Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil and this is our third video regarding this project series. So now let's see what we are going to do in this video. So in this video, we will basically add a nav bar here and uh, we can uh, make a listing page also. We will make a route for it and we will make a controller for it. And, and at the last, we will check that everything is working fine or not. All right. So this uh, navbar will be common for all pages. That's why we will make it inside the layout page. So you know that layer about the layout page. We just made it in, in previous video. If you did not watch our previous video, then you can get the link from the description box also. Now let's start. So using for the navbar, I'm just going to take the navbar code from the bootstrap. It will help you to take uh, to save the time for our video as well as you know that how we can use the bootstrap also so just right here bootstrap for navbar and let's click on our first link you will find a lots of navbar but we need search option and that's why i'm just going for this one this one is looking simple so now let's just remove this menu will be here this part with the navbar all right so now we can just simply replace it now let's check what we are got it here wow nice so if i'm just going to uh, change the screen size then you can see that the breadcrumb is also here this is uh, look nice about the bootstrap so now let's see that uh, how we can change is the menu and all so let's make a resto here so that it will look like our uh, project logo like resto and after that we can just change some names like list and after that I can just write here uh, search and uh, let's make more login and the same way we can also use the register just remove the disable class from here all right so now it's look like nice so we can add one more menu for the add restaurant so just right here add like this all right so now let's see this is still responsive yes this is still responsive and looking very nice all right so after that uh, i'm just going to make the link for the home page like this and uh, list page i'm just going to make it now so now let's make a new blade page with the name of list dot blade dot php and as you know that this our old pages will be just uh, extending the layout page like the home page right so we can just copy it from here to here and after that we can just change the name like uh, uh, restaurant list page restaurant list page is here like so now let's see but as you know that home page is working fine um i think i just have to remove this uh, footer for a moment because this is not looking nice in some video we will just change it uh, with the better footer all right so here you can see that home page is working fine on the home and the logo but list is not working here because we have to make the route and controller for it so now let's make a route for it and controller for it so let's go inside the rest of controller and just make a function list like this and just return here view and the view name is as you know it's a list now let's uh, define the route for this function so now let's go inside the web.php and here we can just copy and paste it define the route like list like this and uh, let's add the function name with the at the rate so if i am just going to see on a list now you can see that this page is working fine so now we can add this link on a list menu so let's come back to the layout page and just add here list route like this all right so now let's see is it working or not i'm just going to on a list page this is working fine home page is also working fine perfect so
so in the upcoming video we will see that how we can populate the data from the database in the list here from of the restaurant list and something like this all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care